Good afternoon, October 11th. We're at 230 Central. Dow down uh, 290, was down almost 700. I've entered most of my trades today, so I want to come in here and give a quick uh, update. We've got the Wyckoff wave here in front of us. For weeks on the week in review, I've been showing this purple trading range. I've mentioned that I didn't think we were going to jump a creek here, but actually just testing the upper boundaries would fall back into the trading range, possibly doing up to us. Definitely now we've returned to the average level of previous closes. So we've got an up thrust in place. We've got a technometer down here at major oversold today. So somewhere here, I think we'd find support. We do have this dotted blue uptrend line that it's on. So again, I'm covering shorts. I covered some shorts on the SPY at this morning's opening. We were down about 250. The rest, I do a lot of mutual fund timing and I'm covering at the close. I've got to cover at the close. So uh, you can see here the OP I've been talking about forever. The OP never did join in this rally to new highs and kept ask, acting very lethargic and then uh, started breaking down there uh, a month ago. So definitely breaking down now. So these markets, uh, I guess interest rates are finally, uh, have higher interest rates have gotten to us. Here's the uh, Wyckoff wave growth, more of a composite type index. We had given a sell back here when the technometer was at 51, and uh, we did have a break of the blue uptrend, and then a test of the underlying line, and then uh, have been short recommending stay short, trail stops. Again, I think probably here you could maybe cover some shorts here. Uh, we've had a pretty big decline. If not, you're gonna have to trail stops and uh, keep them much higher because we could get a pretty good bounce here. TLT, we'd recommend being short, staying short, trailing stops. Again, I, me I mentioned on uh, Sunday night's update, you could cover some shorts if you're short term because we had a technometer clear down here at uh, below 30. We are up to 46 now, so above neutral, 50 is a sell. So uh, I'm guessing we are, uh, you know, we're having a little flight to quality today on the sell-off in stocks the last two days. But I would think bonds are going to get another sell signal here. If you did cover your shorts here on uh, Monday morning, then I think you're gonna get a chance to put them back out again. So uh, let's just quickly go through a few here. Uh, the same usuals, you know, Boeing falling back to uh, the resistance that it tried to jump, technometer, Definitely down here at oversold 36.24. That's still one finding support here would make sense. Bank of America, we have said that we are long and uh, we did get stopped out on this break of the previous support. So, no positions of Bank of America and uh, we took losses on that position. Let's go through a few more here. Caterpillar. Coming back down, has reversed today after making a sub 140. Uh, did get a little bit deep, so uh, some of these stocks I think are need to be traded or sold on a further rally. AT&T, one that we want to be long. One year chart. Met resistance at this uh, Resistance level of the trading range, now back to 50% uh, retracements, two big down days. Technometer down here at 35.55, which is held low. So AT&T, I think somewhere here could be purchased, maybe just for a short-term rally. We'll see what happens if it approaches resistance again. We're gonna go through a few more here. Regeneron, we like the way it had held up. We've tried being long this one. We've been stopped out for small losses. This is one still, the chart looks pretty well. 375, it made a break below 368, which was a support level we thought would hold. But this is still one that we think could be interesting if this market finds a bounce. We have mentioned before, we were along the uh, GDX, GDXJ, and ABX. We've shown this on here with the Wyckoff markings. 
these things are coming alive today. We've got what six, seven, ten percent rallies in some of these. Technometers getting overbought, but we're I think we're jumping resistance. I don't think we're going to test or up thrust this. We had good accumulation down here, so I think we're good on the metals for still higher prices. Moving along, buried gold. That was one we recommended a few days ago. It's up 9.96% uh, here. Definitely rocking and rolling. We said we were in markup phrase. We tweeted that this morning. Follow our Twitter, Learn Crypto Show, which is our Learn Crypto Wyckoff SMI site where these YouTube videos are or follow Wyckoff on Crypto, a little more crypto on the Wyckoff on Crypto. The Learn Crypto show on Twitter, you'll get some of these updates on stocks. So uh, this here preliminary support came at the same point as the backup, which is uh, can't happen regularly. So this is accumulation here. We do have upside objectives. Could it go as high as 1465, uh, I believe the level. Again, overbought, but this is a liftoff markup area. So uh, technometer could come back to neutral or near oversold. You probably could add on to this holding here, but otherwise uh, there should be a good long holding force. Still a few other that we're watching, trying to trade. Twilio has been a strong one, has broken up trend lines, but uh, still an overall pretty good chart. We're coming back down here. We came below 50% support. This is one you still could look at. We'll be prepared for some risk here. These markets maybe need to settle down. Dow down 321. Tractor supply, something that we like longer term. Another one uh, trying to hold in here today. So uh, I think that one looks interesting. This could be a spring and an uptrend. So that's one we still would like to be long somewhere here. We've got uh, Wingstop is one that we had taken 100% gain in. Excuse me, not Buffalo Wild Wings. Wingstop holding in like a champ. You can see here almost uh, no net losses over the last few weeks. We did, it was long that got stopped out 64 to 67. And we're 68.10. So this one still looks higher. And let's go over one more here. UUP, we're short the dollar, have been. And uh, we like the way that uh, these gap openings higher gave away to weakness. And uh, today we got a pretty good sell off. So short dollar, long metals, covering some shorts in the stocks. And uh, I think that's about it. Again, at the close today, we're getting taken out of our shorts that we've been on for quite a while on our uh, mutual fund timing strategy that we do. And uh, would look to sell bonds on a little higher rally when they get overbought and would add to precious metals if we get any type of uh, pullback. Good trading.